Hello and welcome to another English class. Today we are looking at phrasal verbs with fall. Now if you want to see all my phrasal verb videos, in fact all my English class videos, just go to my channel, look for playlists and you'll see English classes. That's where all my videos live. So watch, learn and enjoy. Okay, phrasal verbs with fall. Fall apart is to break into pieces. The table fell apart because it was poorly constructed. It wasn't well made, so when you put something heavy on it, it just fell apart. It broke into pieces. This could also be metaphorical. Our relationship fell apart. We had a good relationship. We stopped communicating. Now we have no relationship. Our relationship fell apart. Fall down or fall over is to fall onto the same surface. He fell down. He was on the, gr on the ground. And then he fell. He was still on the ground, but he fell down. The lamp fell over. The lamp was on the table, and then it fell over. It's still on the table, but it fell over, okay? The reason I'm making that distinction is because you also have fall off, which is to fall from one surface onto another surface, okay? So he fell down. You can use he fell down or he fell over, but for objects, over is more common. But, you know, there's no actual rule. The lamp fell over. Okay? Right. Uh, fall for is to believe something which is untrue and be tricked. So, the old lady fell for the scam. She believed what they were telling her, and then they stole her money. For example, uh, they go to her house, knock on the door, and they tell her they're offering her this opportunity, this insurance opportunity, where if she gives them some money, she can get this thing at the end, you know? And uh, she says, oh, that sounds good, and she signs, gives them her bank details, and they steal her money. And this is very common online as well. So the old lady fell for the scam. She believed it was true. She was tricked, okay? It can also be more innocent, like a joke that you play on your friends. I can't believe you fell for that old trick. Look behind you. Uh, 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 you fell for it. You believed there was something behind you. You looked. It wasn't true. You were tricked. It's very childish. Uh, okay, so fall off is to fall from one surface onto another surface, okay? So... The, the, the glass, oh yeah, the glass fell off the table. It was on the table, it was rolling, it fell off the table. It's no longer on the table, it's on the ground, okay? So fall off is to fall from one surface onto another. The picture fell off the wall, okay? The picture's on the wall, it fell off the wall, okay? Fall out with is to stop being friends or friendly. She fell out with her brother. They had an argument. They stopped talking. They stopped being friendly. Okay? She fell out with her brother. When did they fall out? Now, you'll notice with is in brackets. Okay? That's because if you have an object, you must use with. If you don't have an object, you don't use with. This is common for several phrasal verbs. Not all of them, but those with two particles. Sometimes the second particle is only used when there's an object. And if, this, the, if there's no object, we don't use the second particle. And this is probably the most common example of that, but there are others. Okay? Perhaps I've already talked about that in one of my phrasal verb videos. I can't remember. So... She fell out with her brother. When did they fall out? Okay, now this must be plural if there's no object because you can't fall out with yourself. Can you? Okay, there you go. There you go. And fall through finally is to fail to happen. Okay, you had plans and they didn't happen. They fell through. Our, <clears throat> our plans fell through because of the weather. So we had plans to go for a nice trip somewhere, somewhere to enjoy the sun, I suppose, maybe to a beach somewhere. And the weather was really bad, so our plans fell through, okay? It's usually not your choice. Well, it's not your choice. 
if you choose not to do something, you don't say our plans fell through. You say we decided not to do it. But if something else causes your plans to be disrupted or cancelled or postponed, then you use fall through or fell through. Our plans fell through because of the weather. We didn't choose not to go. We didn't go because of the weather. Okay. There you go. Phrasal verbs with fall. There are more phrasal verbs with fall. I'll do those in another video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for daily English videos. Hit like, thumbs up, uh, leave a comment if you have any doubts or questions, and share this with anyone you know who is learning English, because it could be very useful for them. So, have a lovely day. I'll see you very soon for another English video. Bye-bye.